There's no better way to celebrate St. Patrick's Day than with a pint of beer at an Irish pub. In fact, a pub in Somerville was rated one of the best in the nation. We have Burn Bar owner Tommy McCarthy with us in the studio this morning. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you. Thanks for bringing me along. It's been so nice having you here. We love learning about these traditional Irish dishes, hearing you play the fiddle. But tell us first why the Burn is such a great place to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. Well, you're going to get the true part of Ireland in the burn, you know, it's just Irish music and Irish traditional food and Guinness and Irish stuff and um, I think you've, when you step in the doors of the burn you feel like you're back home because we don't have TVs so you're not distracted with like sports or something, it's just purely conversation, music and food and I think people just kind of like ease and just enjoy themselves without any distractions. You know, Massachusetts, people here go hard when it comes to <laughs> St. Patrick's Day. Is it going to be an absolute zoo at the Burren tomorrow? What can people expect while you guys celebrate this holiday? Well, we have two rooms. So the back room is we have these uh, St. Patrick's shows of myself, my wife, and my daughter, and my nephew, and Seamus Noon on flute and dances. So that's a ticketed show. So if you come to the door and it's busy, if you have a ticket, you'll get in because you go into the back room. So you have to fight for your life for the front room. And do you, have, do you typically outside. have long lines on St. Patrick's Day? Uh, we tend to have long lines most of the year. Sometimes I look there in January and people are standing outside way up the road on a Friday night. They're going, in the cold. <laughs> <laughs> well, this food looks amazing. Can you talk about these traditional Irish dishes that you'll be serving? Well, we have corned beef and cabbage, which is very popular this, this particular weekend. And then over on our right here, we have a, a vegan um, shepherd's pie with our homemade soda bread. And then we have two types of Guinness mm -hmm. here. We have Guinness with alcohol and Guinness with no alcohol. They're called zero Guinness. Mm -hmm. uh, often I hear uh, customers say, I don't really go out anymore. I don't go to pubs because I don't drink. Well, you have no excuse now. You can have a zero Guinness. <laughs> yeah. It tastes pretty much the same, a little sweeter than zero Guinness, but I often drink it. Well, how many pints do you think you'll pour tomorrow? Oh, about 10 million. <laughs> <laughs> 10 million. Everybody's favorite drink for the day, right? You said you are a top seller in the nation, though, right? Yeah, the Burns top seller in the nation, yeah. Wow. And I love when you said that you make vegan shepherd's pie for a very special reason. Why is that? Well, I'm a vegan, and mm -hmm. my wife's a vegan, and we put this idea across about seven or eight years ago, and it's proven very popular. So we have a lot of vegan dishes at the Burns now, because mm -hmm. the area in Cambridge, some of them, a lot of vegan and yoga people, and they like to look after themselves, so... If you don't like to drink alcohol, you can have a vegan shepherd's pie and a zero Guinness. So there's something there for everybody. It's nice that you provide those alternatives because some people still want to be in that pub atmosphere even though they might not be drinking. Yeah, I know. I mean, like last Wednesday night, I went to a show and I was tempted to have a couple of pints of Guinness in the back room in the burn, but I just had a couple of pints of zero. And I, you know, sometimes you're in a pub and you're drinking a cup of tea or a glass of water, it feels like out of place. But if you yeah. drink, you know, you, you feel part of the atmosphere and you can. You know. <laughs> you know what? You don't get the hangover no. the next exactly. day with the zero. So I know, Tommy, that you play the fiddle. Do you want to send us to break with a little bit of music? Sure, why not? I play a tune called Fanny Power. Okay.